I never had any interest in running, but some friends were training for the Dublin Marathon back in 2001, and I told them I'd give that a shot. From the beginning, it was a lot tougher than I had anticipated. I was struggling to keep up with them, and they were having to hold themselves back so I wouldn't get too far behind. I thought everybody could go out and run that. I, it was just a matter of putting one foot in front of the other that I could do it without training. All that kept me going was the fact that the, the lads were up ahead of me. If they weren't up ahead of me, I wouldn't have had the incentive to, to keep moving. It was a big jump to go from running 26 miles to running 150 miles. And that 150 miles was across desert and mountains in temperatures that could go as high as 50 degrees Celsius. I got in touch with past competitors and I found that from talking to the, the guys who hadn't finished, I learned quite a lot. They were able to tell me what mistakes that they thought they had made and what they would do differently if they went again. So I just followed my instinct, went along the trail that, that I was on, and eventually I got to see that it was the right way. There were, there were obvious tracks there. I really, really picked up the pace. I came to an, an open lake that was a, a, a lake that was frozen over with snow on it. And it was very, very tough going on the, on, on the foot to get across this. And I pushed and pushed, it was almost like a sprint. And eventually I thought that I had enough, enough time on this guy to, to slow down a bit. So that was it. I started off as the back marker and I crossed the finish line first. Starting to get bright, I see you. Yeah. Dawn is just breaking. It's seven o'clock. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Buzz is here. Once you're among your fellow runners, yeah, you, you, you know, that's it. He has nothing. He's. It's a bit feeling of having all your baggage gone. It's just you, your feet, runners on you. Thank you. 